Yo what is up guys it's me Blast and I am back with another video today for you guys and I have some great news. So the new Battlefield trailer just released and the new Battlefield game is called Battlefield 1 and is set in World War 1. Not in World War 2 but in World War 1. Uh, at first I was a bit skeptical about it being in World War 1 because you know I thought there will not be a diverse playground, a diverse experience and we would have the same trench warfare over and over and over again. But boy oh boy, was I wrong. After seeing the live event and trailer dude, my god. The trailer looks epic with diverse landscape ranging from forests to deserts to canyons and it shows us the other not so known side of the world war, one in the eastern side of the world, like the Arabia and parts. Yeah, you can see the desert there and like a girl just going through that thing and takada takada on a horse <laughs> yeah that was my imitation of a horse <laughs> anyways uh, vehicular warfare seems pretty amazing uh, if you saw the event you'd know like we're gonna have goddamn battleships and biplanes and horses all in the same battlefield i mean the aerial combat those seem pretty fantastic i mean you know when the planes are going through those canyons and fighting my god was it amazing uh, we even got to look at a knight in full body armor I and mean, like this that kind of turned medieval and a guy with a badass flamethrower and a biplane gunner. I hope it's not just in the campaign but in the multiplayer too cause you know just imagine running into a tank battle with horses or biplanes versus zeppelins. I mean that ish is going to be great. Also at the event they emphasized a lot on the destruction happening which was not at revolution in fact like they didn't mention much of it a little bit but not a lot but the unscripted destruction I guess the kind we had in Battlefield Bad Company 2 which provides a tactical advantage unlike BF4's Revolution which was mainly for aesthetics on some maps and was one of the game's biggest selling points. I mean it didn't even change how the game played on some of the maps. But boy oh boy you should have had a look at my face when I was watching the trailer for the first time. I mean seeing horses with great ass zeppelins on the same battlefield took me by surprise. I was in the middle of the night, like in India it was middle of the night, it was 1.45am and I sat on my chair giggling like a 6 year old girl. Oh my god, that, that trailer looked amazing for the first time, I, I mean, I should have recorded it. Game is releasing on 21st October with early enlisters getting a 3 day head start with the game on 18th October. You can, you know, go to the battlefield site and, you know, get the insider's access or something like that. I mean, I don't know, I haven't yet got it but I will soon. There's also going to be an open beta, though the date is not yet confirmed, so get ready. One more good news, or I don't know, one more news I guess. Nvidia just revealed the GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 graphics card, with the former taking on Nvidia's flagship GTX Titan X. 1080 is said to be faster than Titan X and uh, okay, it might be, well I am no master in this field but I thought I should just let you guys know. So I was really hyped to see the trailer and I hope you guys were too. All about the hype train and I'll see you on the battlefield.